Hey everyone, my name is Heba and welcome back. Hourglass came out with three new ambient lighting edit unlock palettes for their holiday 2023 collection. And you can also customize the outside packaging with four different designs. So I went ahead and ordered one of them and I thought it's gonna be here before we went on vacation, but it didn't, it came during. So I know that this video may be a little late coming out there, but at least it's out there. That's what I always like to say. And also during our vacation, I thought I can edit and upload a video for you guys. But while editing it, I noticed that I needed some B-roll footage that I couldn't do it there I have to do it here with this camera so I was unable to upload that video which is okay I know that there's like a big gap here between videos but now I'll upload this one first the one by Hourglass because it was here when we got home like last night and I can't wait to try it for you guys I am a little darker so hopefully it will show up on my skin and we did not vlog our vacation it was just for four or five days we were pretty much on the beach swimming diving eating and relaxing those were the main things that we did and that can be kind of boring just watching me eat and lay on the beach and dive but maybe I'll go ahead and put some b-roll of some of the shots that we did because we went to Grand Cayman it's just such a beautiful place the beach is beautiful very relaxing food is delicious and of course the diving is just magnificent all the beautiful coral and fish there just God's hand was on that but anywho let's go ahead and talk about this hourglass ambient lighting palette again there are three different palettes and they are in three different packages or three different designs that you can choose from and they also came out with the fourth one is just the packaging and you could choose that one too if you want to customize it that way which is this owl let me go ahead and show you the pictures you first have jellyfish and I would say that one's more of the lighter version and that one has only three new shades in that palette the other three are existing shades yeah I didn't pick that one because it's gonna to be too light for me so that one was an easy pass then you have the leopard and that one unfortunately only has one new shade which is the blush and again I didn't pick that one because because again it only had one new shade five existing shades and this one will be light on me and I think I do have some of these shades here so I passed on that one but the one that I did get is the snake palette but not in the snake packaging now the snake palette has five new shades and one existing shade and I would say this is more for the deeper tones or medium to tan so yeah this one did have five new shades and I did pick this one up but in the owl packaging I think this one's cuter I don't know the snake packaging just didn't look pretty to me <laughs> so I was able to customize it and put it in the owl palette so I don't know if that's the reason why it came late but anywho it's here now and let's go ahead and see this palette again here is the close-up it does have a protective plastic and let me go ahead and take that off very satisfying and then here is what the front looks like I think that's really cute love that cute snowy owl and then on the back this is what it looks like gives you the shade name now these do cost $90 it did raise in price from last year just like with everything else I mean Hourglass is a luxury brand and they do donate 5% to their favorite animal charities and also their powders are really nice so they are an expensive brand but sometimes how expensive can they get so I hope that this one is worth $90. Oh, and the designs of the packaging were done by the artist Katie Scott. Now I'm not familiar with her, so I don't know what else she's done, but I should say she's a really good artist. So let's go ahead and see what this owl palette, AKA the snake palette looks like. Again, this is the deepest one. And here are the shades in this palette. This is the existing shade and all the others are new shades. So let's go ahead and swatch these. All right, brought you in closer and let's go ahead and start with this existing shade, which is the ambient lighting powder and radiant light, which is a golden beige. So let's put the powder here. All right, so far this looks okay on my tan skin. And after I swatch it and apply it to my face, we'll go ahead and kind of compare some of the other palettes that I have. So let's go ahead and swatch this new shade, which is a blush and it's the ambient lighting blush, Coral Haze. And this is a pink coral. That is very pretty and very smoothing on my skin. Next, we have the ambient metallic strobe lighting powder. And this is again, a new shade, Infinite Strobe Light. And this one's a warm gold. Yeah, the strobe lightings are very, very pigmented. That's pretty. Next, we have the Ambient Lighting Blush Sunbeam, and this one's a rich peach. You know, when I first saw this, it kind of reminded me of one of the blushes from last year's palette. So again, we'll do some comparisons. And then we have another blush in this palette, Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush in Mystic Flush. And this one's a mid-tone pink coral. 
And then the last one is an ambient lighting bronzer. We'll see how this one will work on my skin tone, especially now that I'm darker. And this one's solar bronze, which is a rich bronze. Okay, we'll see how that one will look. But here are the swatches from this snake palette, AKA the owl palette. <laughs> All right, the blushes and the strobe light and the powder look promising, but the bronzer, I think maybe a little light. So let's go ahead and bronze up. Pretty much don't need bronzing, but foundation is a little bit lighter. So I probably do need some bronzer and let's use this one, which is solar bronze. Yes. All right, not bad. Actually, that's not bad. And of course the hourglass powders melt into the skin. They just have this technology that just looks so nice on the skin. Let me do my forehead and you can see the difference from one side to the other. So again, this one is bronzed up and this one is not. Could be just a tad darker for deeper skin tone. I do like the tone of it, it's very pretty. Okay, now let me go ahead and do the other side. And I'm using the Sonia G Indochine brush. Love this one because it looks like a calligraphy brush. You just kind of, you know, do a little calligraphy on your face. <laughs> all right, so here I am all bronzed up. Okay, now let's try one of the blushes and let's go into this one, Sunbeam. Oh, probably shouldn't have put that much. And this one is a rich, peach all right let me go in one more time a few more in the back i guess on my skin tone it looks a little bit pinker i don't know because of the tan and i did have sunscreen i had the super goop unseen sunscreen every time and i still get darker <laughs> This is very pretty, kind of subtle, and even the strobe lighting of it, it's not that strobey, if I can say it that way. All right, what do you think? Let me go ahead and clean my brush, and this is also by Sonia G, and this is Soft Cheek. And let's go into this blush. It's Coral Haze, which is a pink coral, because it looks not as bright as this blush, which is Mystic Flush. But let's try Coral Haze and put you more in the back. What do you think? That's pretty. That's pretty. I know I can't wait to powder my face because I just look a little shiny. <laughs> but let's use the blushes first and the strobe lining. But this Coral Haze is not bad. I kind of like it. It's very subtle. I think I kind of like this one a little bit better than uh, Sunbeam. I'm not used to the new names. <laughs> All right, let me clean my brush and let's go into this one, Mystic Flush. So this one just looks a little bit brighter. And let's see what it'll look on the apples of my cheeks. Oh, this one's pretty too. Let me put a little bit on this side too. Just on the apples. All right, what do you think guys? You know, this will work on medium to deep skin tones. That's what I'm seeing. And I think it's very pretty. Do like the shades. Okay, now let's try the strobe lighting, which is infinite strobe and it's a warm gold. There, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna say very gently. We go on the other side. I need to blend that one out. That's, that's pigmented. Yeah, that one does show the highlights there. Just put a little bit underneath my brow bone. Okay, what do you think? Now let's go into the powder, which it is an existing shade, Radiant Light. And honestly, I can't remember if I have this one or not. So this palette could be all new for me. But let's go on this side first, underneath my eyes. So we can see the difference there. Yeah, that calmed down the shininess a little bit for me. Do the forehead chin and just kind of calm down the blush and strobe light okay so this side has powder this side doesn't let me just kind of blend out that strobe light right there because 
that initial impact really did a thing there. Now let's kind of calm down this side. Let me fix my hair a little bit. All right, so now I have everything on my face. What do you think, guys? You know, it's not bad. It's not bad. You know what I want to do? I want to add a little bit more bronzer. So what happens if you add bronzer on top of a blush, especially with the a lighter bronzer? All right, not bad. Because I have a feeling that adding the blush did kind of tone it down a little bit, that bronzer. All right, how does that look? A little bit better? So let's go ahead and do some comparison swatches. Let's go into the Snake Palette, AKA the Owl. And let's go into this blush, Sunbeam, which is the Rich Peach. There we go. And let's go to last year's holiday. This is the Tiger Palette. And let's go into Burnish Glow, this blush. Okay, yeah, this one looks a little bit more pumpkin-y and this one does look a little bit corally. This one's pretty. Love this one from last year. Now also in the Tiger palette, there is a strobe light, which is Copper Flash. Let me swatch this one. I know it's a strobe light, but let's just play with it because this one's kind of coppery. So yeah, there is a difference between these two. Now let's go into Solar Bronze. Now I don't have many bronzers from Hourglass because they are a little light, but we'll try this one first. Again, this is the one this year. Yeah, it does look light. Let me just kind of build it up a little bit. Looks almost pinkish. Let's go back into the Tiger palette and let's go into this one. It's a finishing powder, but I use this one as a bronzer on my skin tone, which is Transcendent Light. Oh, let me go back to this hand. Now this one showed up in the Tiger palette from last year also came in the Trio Volume 3, and I believe this one came out maybe a year and a half ago, two years, and this is also a permanent shade. So again, this is a finishing powder, but I like to use this one as a bronzer. Let me just kind of build that up. Huh, those do look a little similar. What do you think? So this is the one from the Snake palette, and this is Transcendent Light. This is a bronzer, and this is a finishing powder. Yeah, they are similar in tone, but I would say that the Transcendent Light, the finishing powder, is a little bit deeper. Whereas the new one looks a little bit rosier too. Let me turn off the lights so you can see. All right, I hope that helps. So again, this is the one this year, the Snake Palette, and this is the permanent one, Transcendent Light, finishing powder. You know, let me do the bronzer underneath my arm because it is a little bit lighter so we can compare it that way because I just want to see if it will work for medium skin tone. So again, this one's the Snake Palette, Solar Bronze, and let's go into the Finishing Powder, Transcendent Light. What do you think, guys? I don't know. It looks a little similar that way, doesn't it? Let me build it up some more. So again, this is the one in the Snake Palette, which is a bronzer, and then this is the Finishing Powder, Transcendent Light. Yeah, I guess this one is a little bit deeper. It does have the kind of the same undertone. Well, maybe the one this year has a little bit more rosiness to it, but they are similar. Can we turn the light back on? There we go. Let me go ahead and wipe the swatches off of this arm and let me do some of the pink blushes. We did the peachy blushes on this side. Now let's go more for the pinky ones. So again, this is Coral Haze, which is a pink coral, which is this one right here. And let's go to this one, which is Mystic Flush. Now, they came out, Hourglass came out with a Chinese New Year blush, I believe four or five years ago. It's my favorite, favorite shade, and that's Vivid Blush. And I've been waiting for them to bring that back because that's been discontinued, can't find that anymore. So I was hoping that they'd bring it back, but no, they haven't. <laughs> All right, let me put you here. This one's Mystic Flush, which is a mid-tone pink coral. So we have a pink coral and a mid-tone pink coral. Let's go to this one, Iridescent Rose, which came from the Tiger palette. And let's put you next to this one. It's a little bit pinker, a little bit brighter. And let's go to the Elephant palette, also came last year. This one's more for the medium skin tone. And let's go into this blush, which is Iridescent Coral. And let's put you here. Okay, this one's very light. And then let's go to this one, Radiant Rose. And let's put Radiant Rose here. Okay, it's lighter. Now let me compare this one. This one came out several months ago. It's the Blush and Glow set, which is nothing but 
three blushes and three strobe lighting powders here. No bronzer. Well, one strobe light and two powders. So three blushes, one strobe light and two powders. But let's just do the blushes here. And let's go into this one, soft flush. And they still have this one available. They did come out with the bronze and go. That one sold out. That one sold out real quick. Okay, so this one's soft flush. All right, that looks pretty close to the one this year. Maybe a little bit lighter. Actually, it probably comes close to this one. Now let's go to Mood Flush, and this is an existing shade. I think you can find this single. And actually, I thought it'd be too light, but I kind of like this one. So let me put you here. So yeah, it is very light. Kind of looks like this one. I believe this one was Iridescent Rose. Very similar, actually. And then this last one, Sunset Glow. And let me put you here. Yeah, so these are the blushes that I have from my collection. And some of them do look similar. Of course, you got some that's a little bit brighter, lighter, but yeah, some of them do look similar. You know, just for kicks, let me show you my favorite one, Vivid Flush. I'll be right back. So here is my favorite one, Vivid Flush. So pretty. It did kind of break here in the corner. So I was hoping that they would put this one in a new ambient lighting palette to no avail. Hourglass, if you're listening, bring back Vivid Flush because this one is a beautiful shade. Now, I know it looks light, but on my skin tones, very pretty. Love this shade. And it is different from pretty much all the other ones that I have. I would say this one's close to like a Barbie pink, but not as ashy. Love this one, Vivid Flush. And I think that is it. That is all the blushes that I have from Hourglass. So again, here are the more pinky blushes, and this one's more the orangey, peachy, corally blushes, and of course the bronzer. Now the finishing powder, I don't have anything similar, but I kind of like this one because it doesn't make me look ashy. Oh, you know what? I think I have one more blush. Wait a minute, let's, you know, I forgot one more blush. This one came in the Diffused Rose Trio. And let me go into this one, which is Rose Flush. Forgot about this one. It's not my favorite palette, to be honest. It's a little light, kind of ashy on me. But let's put Rose Flush here. So yeah, this one is a little bit light, but it is kind of similar to this one. Like, honestly, I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> But I'll write it down here for you guys because I can go back and check. So what do I think about this palette? It's pretty. I think this will work with my skin tone deeper. But if you have some of the other palettes from previous years, really don't need this one. And the bronzer, I think it's, it's pretty, but it is kind of light. I prefer the Transcendent Light, the finishing powder as a bronzer. But this one... Maybe when, you know, my skin gets a little lighter, I'll try it again. But at least in my tan skin, you can see how it looks like. Be a good indicator to see how it looks like as a bronzer. Maybe as a finishing powder? Let me try that. Let me just try Solar Bronze as a finishing powder underneath my eyes. Is there a difference? Actually, it's not bad. This is not bad as a finishing powder instead of a bronzer. <laughs> Just go kind of lightly, give you a little wash of color here. Okay, you could probably use this one as a finishing powder, Solar Bronze, but not so much as a bronzer on my tan skin tone or deeper. So yeah, if you do have other palettes from previous years, I would skip on it. There's not a real pretty shade in here that makes me want to go, ooh, I really like this one. I think it's very, very common, very generic, I guess you could say, from the previous palettes. But if they ever bring back Vivid Flush, yeah. So for this palette, even though there are five new shades, just kind of step back, look at it, make sure that you really want it. And if you end up that you really want this palette, then yeah, go for it. It's a very pretty palette, and I think it works for my skin tone or tan, maybe a little bit deeper than tan. But when you step back and look at it and realize you have other shades, then I would definitely pass on this palette. Definitely pass. It's $90. You can use that $90 for something else. There's a lot of other holiday collections coming out. And the packaging is very nice. Love the Owl palette. Again, the Snake palette wasn't my thing. Jellyfish palette's pretty. And the Leopard palette is pretty. But the Snake one, I don't know. I just, I don't like snakes. <laughs> but it's not enough to spend $90 for an Owl palette. Especially if you have shades that are similar. If you're lighter than me, definitely pass on this palette. Even if you go lightly, I think it might be too deep. The other two, I can't really tell you on that because they're too light for me. But if you're my skin tone or deeper, it's a pretty palette. But again, 
take a look at it, then step back and ask, do you really need it? Do you really want it? And if you do, if you have uh, unlimited funds, then have at it. If not, just pass. Because I'm sure you have other palettes and there'll be other things coming out this holiday season. But anywho guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of me trying the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette for the Holiday 2023 collection. The Snake Palette in the Owl packaging. Again, this is the Snake Palette. The deeper one out of the three. And if you liked and enjoyed this palette, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and you will have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.